Hey, welcome back. This is ESN Abelard, and this is our Unity Quick Tips. Now, in this video, I just want to introduce you to how do you integrate Unity 3D with Visual Studio. Now, for production quality code, you can use Model Develop by all means. A lot of people have used it. They're sublime. You can also use it if you're on the Mac. But Visual Studio comes with so many great features uh, that we can leverage here in Unity and in Visual Studio. And to get started, all we want to do is, is, if I just bring this down real quick, we want to use this Visual Studio um, 2013 tools for Unity, mouthful. What is it really? It used to be, if I just load this up, Unity VS, which was Syntax Tree's plugin for Visual Studio. Long story short, Microsoft bought them, and this is all the features that you get with this system. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of things that you can do. Uh, you know, I personally love being able to just have an editor that you can rely on. You can debug right from within Visual Studio and play in the um, Unity editor game mode. So things like that, you know, they just help with production. So to get started, first thing you want to do is this. You want to come to the Visual Studio Community Edition page. And this is a brand new uh, release that Microsoft released as you can see November 12th of last month and it pretty much gives you Visual Studio for free combined with uh, with um, Unity VS's tools you have now a way of easily communicating between the two so let's jump right into it once you install it you can see I'm already logged in you might have to sign up you download your free version it's gonna be a three-step process you're gonna download it it's gonna be an installer which is quote unquote a package manager which then loads probably about six to ten gigs worth of files and once all that's installed you go ahead and you install the visual tools come into your folder and you're gonna to go to the path probably in your x86 folder just because I think that's what this architecture is built on and you're going to go to the 2013 folder I say 2013 because it's also a 2015 version and a 10 version. So go to the version that corresponds with the Visual Studio you're using. Because we're using Community, we're going to go ahead and go into 13. And you'll see that it has a couple files in here. The only file that we're worried about is this last one, the .unity package. And that's actually an asset that we bring into Unity. So if I take this, make sure our project window is open. If I take this and I'll just drag it in here, you'll see that it allows me to import these packages. I say yes, it imports it, Unity needs a minute, and then it just does this magic. And sometimes you have to click on this. Uh, I don't know why that is, it's really weird, but if you actually click up here on the menu, it'll load this up. And what we have now is Visual Studio Tools. And so what Visual Studio Tools is going to do is it's going to give us a couple of options. The only one that we're interested in is Open in Visual Studio. So boom, it opens up in Visual Studio. So now you have access to the whole entire Visual Studio suite to get your work done. So I'm just going to show you a few things real quick. Uh, one, we have this Search Solution Explorer. If I want to search for, let's say, Controller, I hit Enter. This will give me access to all the controllers, whether it's a a property, a class, a file name, and it'll just give me access to them. Now, something I like about Visual Studio is, as you can see, I have two tabs up here. If I actually click on one of these, uh, it actually temporarily loads them. So then you don't have to, uh, you know, double click on a file if you just want to look at it and say, "Hey, Rigid Violin, is this the one I want to use?" And you know, you say, "Yes, yeah, the one." Then you can double click and then you can actually save it up there. Uh, so you can access it. So what I've done already is, is I've, I've gone ahead and in our Passion 47 stage script, I've gone ahead and created a game manager which has which just gives us a public uh, a public function that we can call a public method. Excuse me, that we can call. Now what's very unique about this is is that you can actually add comments really easily. So if I just do one two, I can go ahead and add a comment and say test animation however because I'm in Visual Studio it already knows how to document our code properly so if I add a third slash it automatically creates a summary for us gives us a parameter name so we can go ahead and 
uh, and fill all this out must be bool and we can say dummy test for Adam now we'll leave that and then when we come into our code now all we have to do is say is using because remember this is namespace if I come back into this code you see there's a patch of 47 namespace here so I want to say using you see patch of 47 is already there and I know it's dot game so you get all this intelligence sense uh, all we want to do now is create a private uh, actually you know what I'm gonna, We'll, we'll do a, a game manager, game manager, because it knows it exists now that we're 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 using Pasture Forty Seven game, and we're just gonna call it GM. Now in our start, which actually I want to do it in our wake. In our wake, all we want to do now is is set GM, which we know is a property, which is, is you're seeing how now these are all tied to each other, so. You know, just making things so much easier for us. We want to create a new game manager because it's not a singleton. And now from GM, we have access to obviously this is a mono develop, so you have all the mono develop things. But if I just start typing in test, you can see we have test atom. And you can see test atom automatically comes with what we, you know, the, the summary that we gave it. And we know that a boolean needs to be in here so we just type in true this is Ian Abelard to the next video passion47.com you can check out our blog session for more videos check out Edison Abelard's YouTube or hit me up on Twitter hit up passion47 on Twitter either way there's many ways to find us Edison Abelard and I'm out